it's Anna and this course is Atlas 101. Today we're going to look into how to bring data into Atlas. So we are here now on Atlas interface and this is the first thing you see when opening a project. Um, it asks for some data. So there are different ways to do it, but today we're going to focus on ways to bring some external data into Atlas. So uploading a file, connecting to an external source or importing from a shared data set. In case you're not familiar with spatial data beforehand, let's look into that a bit at first. So spatial data is commonly divided into two different categories. So there's vector data and there's raster data. Vector data is uh, specific geometries such as points that can be like store locations, lines that could be roads or polygons that could be country boundaries, for example. So vector data is the best to showcase some precise features. Raster data, then on the other hand, it's like an image or a grid that's made out of pixels that all have their own value. So raster data is commonly used for things like satellite images. And of course, these two different types have their own data formats. And that's very important when we are uploading data so that you know what type of data you're uploading. So you can see vector data in formats such as GeoJSON or Shapefile or KLM or even a regular CSV file. Uh, raster data then again comes in a TIFF file or it can be, for example, a regular image format such as PNG or JPEG. So right now when we have come to Atlas interface and we have gotten this request for data, we can hit the upload file button and then we have two options. We can drag and drop any file from browser or our uh, files or we can go and browse the files directly. Now we're bringing a GeoJSON onto the platform, so that's vector data. Let's open it and then we upload that one. So then you can see it running in the tasks. Oh, this was very fast now, so the task was immediately completed. If you have any notifications, you will see them on the bottom right corner. But now that it was already uploaded, we can see it on the left panel in our layers. And for example, this one is vector data from Oslo. So here are the points and I just zoomed in to fit the data. You can also bring data from your workspace data. So that's called shared data sets. They are data sets or files that are for the whole workspace. So they are not only for a specific project, like maybe usually uh, files that you bring upload to your projects are, but it is available for all kinds of projects. So they are here on shared data sets. Another place to access this is um, from our dashboard. So we can go and have a look here. So this is the dashboard and here we have also the shared data sets so that you can also access them here. And this was our first data lesson. See you in the next one.